Amanda Klutz met her husband, Nick Cordero, in an old Hollywood way, but her grief is agonizingly 2020. In a new interview with the New York Times, the fitness instructor is opening up about some of the highs and lows of her marriage. She recounts losing her husband to COVID-19 one year after he died, and in her grief is self-deprecating. She said, quote, I was not a good wife. Amanda met the Broadway actor in 2013 when they were both cast in Bullets Over Broadway. They were married in 2017. Nick died of complications from COVID-19 in July 2020, and now the single mom is raising their son Elvis, who turns two today, alone. She told the Times, quote, We always grocery shopped together at the same store and bought the same things. Some of those little moments that you would never think of as really mattering have haunted me the most. Amanda recalled her last few years with her husband in the interview, explaining why she feels guilt over certain parts of her marriage. After ending a run in the cast of A Bronx Tale in 2018, Nick spent time auditioning but never landed a new gig. He soon decided to explore a career change into songwriting, which Amanda was hesitant about. She said, quote, I was not understanding any of it. I was like, this is a waste of time and we have no money. He did not feel supported by me. I wasn't supportive. Amanda is now sharing her story of love and loss in a new book titled Live Your Life, fittingly named after one of her husband's original songs. In the fall of 2019, the couple moved to Los Angeles, a choice the former Rockette says she was also not on board with at the time. She admitted to the New York Times that she wanted to stay out east with her family nearby to help with their new baby, but Nick wanted to keep pursuing his dreams. She said, quote, We fought about it for a year, and I finally came to a place of, this is marriage, you have to compromise. Nick went to the hospital in LA on March 30th, 2020, and by the 1st of April, he was placed on a ventilator. Although she may feel inadequate, Amanda became a beacon of resilience and hope on social media. She dedicated her time to sharing her husband's story and searching for ways to help him heal. Her husband lost his battle with the virus, but Amanda continues to bring light to the world. She says despite feeling proud to be raising their son Elvis, she does still struggle with regret, saying, quote, I learned to appreciate his music too late, but I'm determined to keep his voice alive.